Following her divorce from the miserable Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez has come under fire from George Lopez for sharing suggestive photos online. On their two-year wedding anniversary last month, J-Lo, 55, filed for divorce from Affleck, 52, and in the days that followed, her cheeky swimsuit photo had everyone's hearts racing. In Thursday's Politikin show on iHeartRadio, comedian Lopez, 63, said, You look at Ben Affleck. You never seen one dude more miserable and married. Additionally, Jennifer Lopez tweeted, almost like, Next, a selfie with her ass. He went on to say that he thought Jennifer couldn't survive the criticism she got for the selfie while she was still married to the star. They're taking pictures of their ass the minute their divorce isn't even final, he remarked. Like right now. Additionally, comparing Ben and Jen's union to the romance between Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos and fiancé Lauren Sanchez, he said that both women are Latinas who have been married twice. You can find anything on Amazon, he added. You know, you could definitely find a Latina who is childless. Therefore, I think it's weird that the richest man on the planet would enter. Being a stepfather is the last thing an educated Latina wants to be. Last week, Jennifer showed off her toned posterior in a seductive mirror selfie while sporting gorgeous white strappy swimwear. More than a week after she filed for divorce from Ben, J-Lo seemed to poke fun at him in the many summer photos she posted to her admirers. J-Lo modeled a number of chic ensembles in her album of photos, each expertly tailored to accentuate her amazing body. In the photos, J-Lo was surrounded by her family, which included her 53-year-old younger sister Linda and her 16-year-old twins Max and Emmy. However, it was the album's sprinkling of memes that seemed to strike a blow to Ben, especially when paired with her cheeky caption. One meme said, Everything is unfolding in divine order while another featured a t-shirt with the words, She's in bloom and unbothered out of reach and at peace. J-Lo captioned the album with a provocative message, Oh, it was a summer, and stated on April 26th that she separated from Ben at the end of spring. Ben has allegedly been seen spending out with RFK Jr.'s daughter Kick in recent weeks, amid reports of his divorce. Prior to rekindling his romance with his now-estranged wife Lopez, he had a brief affair with Kick according to reports. Kick and Ben are enjoying spending time together, according to insiders, but the writer is keeping tight-lipped about their relationship out of concern that she would be perceived as a mistress. The insider said, Ben and Kick had a fling before he got back together with J. Lo. Because Ben is from Boston and the Kennedy family is royalty when you live in Boston, they met. Although she didn't want a divorce with the actor, Lopez is doing as well as she can in the interim a source claimed on Monday. According to the insider, Ben's decision to leave her behind and walk away from their marriage has been extremely difficult for her. She had no desire for a divorce. She was determined to solve the puzzle. They are in love with one another. Jennifer is not the kind to give up easily. She's found waiting around to be nearly agonizing. She seems relieved after filing for divorce, the source revealed. Her friends and family concur that it was the right choice. There is a lot of love and support for her. She will be all right. She is resilient and consistently triumphs. Notably, Jennifer represented herself while filing for divorce. However, she might do so in the future. Jennifer filed the divorce documents on her own. Her grounds for seeking for divorce were irreconcilable differences. Ben didn't file, even though she was the one who should have but sources said on Friday that he was aware of her plans. The divorcing couple had already agreed to these terms before she filed, a source claimed. The two described it as a planned event rather than a filing meant to catch Ben off guard, saying they had gone through all the details of the file beforehand. The source continued, J. Lo was the one who ultimately made the decision, and she was the one who finally pulled the trigger because that was their agreement that she would file. The pair had previously broken up behind closed doors, but chose to pretend to be a happy couple for months by going on sporadic public dates. This decision was mainly supported by the reporting. According to the source, the only substantial common property that needs to be sold is their enormous Beverly Hills estate because both parties came in with significant assets of their own and don't intend to battle over their fortune. As a result, Jennifer sought the court to refuse Ben's plea for spousal support from her former spouse, 
April 26th was the day on which she listed their separation. On July 16th, 2022, Jennifer and Ben were wed in a small ceremony. Two years later, on August 20th, 2022, at Ben's plantation in South Carolina, they remarried in front of family and friends. This second marriage took place exactly two years before Jennifer filed for divorce. After becoming engaged at the end of 2002, they broke up a year later and ended their relationship permanently in 2004.